Hello there, my good friends, and welcome. Today is Pentecost Sunday here at Park Congregational United Church of Christ, this open and affirming congregation in downtown Grand Rapids, Michigan. It is a high holy day. It is the day that God bestowed the Holy Spirit upon the disciples, transforming them into apostles so that they may go out and share the good news of God's love, mercy, compassion, and grace with all peoples, and that they could receive that gift and that good news uh, in a language that they could understand. And there is no greater language that allows us to experience the love and mercy and compassion of God that can inspire us to live peaceful and just lives than the language of music. And so not only is it Pentecost Sunday here at Park Congregational Church, but it is also Music Sunday. And you are in for a treat today. So I'm so pleased that you have joined us in this digital worship service. And it is my hope that it is a blessing unto you that this Pentecost Sunday, this Music Sunday, fills up your heart and, and lifts your spirits and inspires us to be agents of Christ. I also want you to know and hear me so clearly and plainly that no matter who you are or where you come from or wherever you are in your journey through life, you are loved by God and you are so welcomed here at Park Church. So let's go into the worship service now. Let us lift our songs and our prayers and let's receive the gift of the Holy Spirit this day. Also, real quick, before I turn you over to the worship service, uh, find us on Instagram, find us on Facebook, find us on our website, subscribe to our newsletter so that you can be informed, stay connected, and get involved in our mission and ministry here at Park Church. But now, let us go to God in this time of worship, of song, of prayer, of receiving the gift on this birthday of the church and receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us worship God. Today is a very special Sunday at Park Church. Very special Sunday for all churches around the world. It is Pentecost Sunday. <laughs> Pentecost Sunday is thought of to be the birthday of the Christian church. 1,991 years ago, give or take, the These men and women were gathered in an upper room in Jerusalem and the gift of the Holy Spirit <laughs> came upon them and gifted them with uh, spiritual gifts to, to share God's love with the world. And the idea is the image that we have in our head on Pentecost is the Holy Spirit looked like tongues of fire. So that's why you see a lot of red on Pentecost. It's to celebrate and, and remember the, 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 the tongues of fire that the disciples and, and the people in that upper room got to share God's love, the gift of the Holy Spirit. So to help us remember this wonderful celebration after church, downstairs in our Merriam Hall, there's gonna be a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? It's the church's birthday. The church is 1,991 years old. And everybody gets a little birthday hat and, every, and there are noisemakers. I wanted to give these to you now, but the Sunday school teachers asked me not to. And to help us remember that red is the color of Pentecost, I want everyone to take one of the red shakers. Oh yeah, I knew y'all would be into this. There you go, take one, take one. And as, and as everybody, and I mean everybody, sings happy birthday to the church, I want you to stand up and shake your red pom-pom. Yeah, there you go. Can you imagine how fun this would be if we had noisemakers? <laughs> Anybody else need a pom-pom? Here we go. Uh, can I get a drum roll? I don't need a pitch. And a 
one and a two and a three. Happy birthday. Good people, hear these words found in the book of Acts. It is the story of Pentecost. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in another language as the Spirit gave them ability. Good people, this Pentecost event, the disciples were imbued with the tongues, of the gift of tongues by the Holy Spirit. And this gift from the Holy Spirit transformed the disciples into apostles so that they could now share the good news of God's love and mercy and grace and salvation in a language that all the peoples of the world could understand. And is there a more universal language on earth than the language of music? It bridges races, cultures, ethnicities, gender, sexual orientations, even age, though I have found the older you get, it is harder to appreciate the musical tastes of the younger generations. (laughs) Music can unite people like no other. And music also has a mystical quality to it. Maybe that's why we turn to a song when our hearts are broken, or maybe it's why we turn to music to be infused with hope. Maybe it's why we break out in protest song to overcome injustice. Or maybe it's a song that helps us to express a great joy like singing happy birthday. If there is any language on earth, on this earthly plane, that is quote unquote spirit speak, it just may be music. And though it is a mere fluke of the calendar that Pentecost Sunday and Music Sunday fall on the same day, I cannot help but think that Pentecost and Music Sunday are meant to be celebrated as one. For to paraphrase the words of the good Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., by the power of the Holy Spirit and in the language of music, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our world into a beautiful symphony of unity and love.
Our scripture reading today for Pentecost Sunday comes from the hymn book of the Bible we know as the book of Psalms. I will be reading the 150th Psalm. Psalm 150, by the way, is the final Psalm included in our book of Psalms, and it is a hymn of praise. Listen for the word of God for you this day, for God is still speaking. Hallelujah. Praise God in God's holy sanctuary. Praise God in the majestic firmament. Praise God for God's mighty deeds. Praise God for God's unsurpassing excellence. Praise God with the blast of the trumpet. Praise God with lyre and harp. Praise God with timbrel and dance. Praise God with strings and pipes. Praise God with resounding cymbals. Praise God with loud clanging cymbals. Let all living things praise God. Hallelujah. Here ends the reading of God's word. The word of God for the people of God.
that we might pray together now as a church, a church of Jesus Christ. I ask you to take your eyes, your ears, your heart, your mind, your breathing, your very spirit, and join them with the persons next to you, in front of you, behind you. Let's join all of our spirits together that we may truly become one and pray with God. Would you pray with me? Creating God, great spirit, master of the universe, we have come together from many places, from many lives this day to join together in worship. It, it occurs to us on this day, this Pentecost Sunday, that we are very like those first disciples that gathered on that day of Pentecost that gave birth to this, the church. We are very different from each other, and yet we can be one together like this. Oh God, some of us, a lot of us are old, and yet we are thankful for that longevity, but still ask that we be forgiven for the moaning and the groaning and the loss of our imagination. Some of us are not yet old, but no longer young. We live lives of responsibility and busyness. We give thanks for the trust we have known and even earned. We give thanks for the love we have shared and been given. But we also know that we have said so much without speaking. We have heard so much without listening. And sometimes we turn to ourselves to find there is nothing left there. Some of us, O oh God, are still young. We dream, we wonder, we get scared, we get angry, and we look to mature in a world that has never been before. Help us to get, gather together in these times to support each other, to love what we have, and to learn how to love even better. We pray for those caught up in war and rumor of war. We pray for the people of Ukraine and Russia, the people of Gaza and Israel, for humans everywhere that have turned to hate in the name of greed and tried to mask it as patriotism and honor. We pray for us, O oh God, that we be brave enough to love. And finally, we ask that your spirit be with us, each of us, but especially all of us together, that you might move us forward into new lives, new lives filled with opportunities to love and to witness to and establish justice, lives full in ways that we do not yet imagine. Grant us that spirit of those first church members that those thousands of years ago now, on that Pentecost day, that we might be able to have spirits full of awe full of hope and imagination. To that end, 
We would join with millions who have gone before us, millions this day, and millions who will go long after us in sharing ancient words that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
Friends, our worship service on this Pentecost and Music Sunday is coming to a close. I want to say a great word of thanks and gratitude to the Reverend Dr. Patrick Coyle, our music minister here at Park Church, for his organizing, conducting, planning of this worship service. I also want to say thank you to all of our musicians, all of our choirs, all of our uh, instrumentalists. I want to say thank you to our AV team who put this uh, and allowed this service to be broadcast so amazingly for our edification and our own spiritual lives. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It has been a great Sunday here at Park Church. And I hope that this service of music and this uh, service of word and this service of receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit so we may hear God's good news in our hearts has been a blessing unto you. But now we come to a close as our service ends on this Pentecost Sunday by lifting up the words of our common commission. So wherever you are, I invite you to join me in these words so they may be written on our hearts so that you, my friends, and I may live them out as agents of Christ in the world today. So let us now go forth into the world in peace, being of good courage, holding fast to that which is good, rendering to no one evil for evil, strengthening the faint-hearted, supporting the weak, helping the afflicted, honoring all people, loving and serving the Lord, and rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. My friends, 
Pentecost Sunday, Music Sunday has come to an end. Let us go out into the world with God. Let us go out into the world with peace on our hearts. Amen and amen.